Zdravstvut, Tito Vrishi, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious KGB Let's Play here in Phantom Doctrine. Looking to have a good time today. A lot to take care of for sure. Uh, first things first, we will... Well, actually, this will be the second thing we do. We're going to dive into Odessa here to take care of the Beholder cell that is currently affecting my income. And uh, then, as soon as we finish that, we're going to send a team over to Kabarovsk to take a look at the enemy recon situation over here. They are going to increase our danger significantly. I'm wondering if I want to do some tactical recon and assault so we can get needles back because we did lose needles. But uh, if I recall correctly, we did implant him with our, uh, yes, we did, with our control phrase. So we should be able to turn him around and bring him home. Uh, either if things go loud or if things stay quiet. So definitely want to dive into that mission. We're not going to leave that one alone. But yes, we are going to deal with this Odessa Beholder activity uh, first. And even before that, we're actually going to deal with some analytics work because we have reached the next chapter of the game. And as I've said countless times, the reason why I was holding off on completing all these dossier uh, was because I feel like I'm going to unlock more if I waited. And so here we are. So... Brought in a real gem yesterday, uh, rather, sorry, Redacted brought in a real gem yesterday, a club devoted to proving Copernicus wrong. They literally believe Earth is flat. Can you believe the potential here? Abaddon is going to give them some cash for research and publicity. Then we'll put them in one bag with the flying saucers, secret government bunkers, and actual beholder ops like Mockingbird, Gladio, or Infection. Thanks to the power of association, no sane person will ever believe that we actually infiltrated all the major media outlets in the U.S. That sounds way too realistic. That sounds way too timely. <laughs> all right, let's get all this stuff out here. See what we can get done right at the beginning. Oh, there's Blue Quasar. Quasar? 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 Again? However you say that. I've seen Reverend before over here. Lots of stuff is already lining up, which is always nice when that happens. Fuck you up. Okay, come on now. There we go. And let's get you over here. Alright, so Reverend is up there and also down here. Uh, have I seen anything else? Freeloader is down here. Abaddon is the main one. We've got Garden of Eden down here. We've got, what else? Spindlehawk, Citadel, Big Brass Band, Mincemeat, Snowcat, Stealth Smoker, Lynx Claw, Wisecracker, Watershed. Anything, anything, anything. Alright, let's start clockwise. So, here's the digest. Here's the digest. I felt that that was the worst way to pronounce that, but it's the only way to pronounce that. Of the Whiskey Rock File contents. Sites similar to Redacted are present globally. Redacted, Redacted, random pickups. Claus Barbie is mentioned in a big wig capacity. Redacted, Redacted, I'll talk to Rockstar. Maybe Cooperative have more intel on this. All right. Don't think we have any more matches from that. Trying to keep my eyes on all the parts here. Next piece is this, let's say. All right, material recovered by Wisecracker is Whiskey Rock. We confirm that Redacted really worked for Academians. Interesting. Lots of uh, code names being thrown around here. There's Whiskey Rock. Wisecracker I saw somewhere as well. I could have sworn. Wisecracker, there it is. There's Wisecracker. And I think we go around. This one's next. Okay, Sylvia Vogelstein. Redacted, redacted, redacted. We're wrong about Sylvia Vogelstein. Redacted. This is no greedy industrialist, no fascist in hiding. No. Sylvia Vogelstein is a visionary, or Stein, is a very, is a visionary with a plan in its final stages and has allies from everywhere between Spindlehawk and Redacted. The subject doesn't just want to rule the world, but remake it. Uh, evil plans, evil plans. All right, let's see. Spindlehawk was where? Could have sworn I saw a Spindlehawk somewhere. There's so there it is. There's so many all at once. It's starting to almost feel like uh, it's not so helpful doing it this way. Just waiting for everything to pile up. All right, so some things are starting to connect. So let's maybe rearrange this a bit. We've got Claws Barbie as well. So fine, let's move this over here. Connect you two because I want to bring this over over here. Move this one over to here. Bring you over here maybe. And bring you over to here. Alright, so that's a bit more organized at least. Move you over to here. Sylvia Vogelstein, or Stein, however that would be pronounced. Uh, goes over here. Lots of connections. Okay, mm uh, big brass band and big brass band over here. Alright, let's get you. 
Memorandum. Lots of redacted. Somebody paid off Rockstar, so they'll let us into Blue Quasar without questions. They have a regular 747 freighter service to Watershed. Alright. Rockstar. I've definitely seen. This I've definitely seen. Where is Rockstar? There you are. There is Rockstar. This is a very interesting, messy, messy board right now. I almost feel like this should be on this side. Just give me some more room. Alright, and what do you got for me? Regarding your phone call earlier, I can assure you that I had nothing to do with your reassignment. You are correct that I was displeased with your unapproved allocation of water food for the cornucopia operation in Lake Tritium. To say that it was a foolish risk is a supreme understatement. Had you gone through that gone through the proper channels, I would have told you that Pearl Diver had already infiltrated the organization and acquired the very information you were looking for. Man, I almost wish there was like a TV show that was just about this. I'm so I'm I'm in such a I'm in such a, a spy mood right now because of this game. All right, let's see. Watershed, Waterpoon, Lake Tritium, Cornucopia, Watershed, Watershed. Oh, right. This is connected to this. Okay, there we go. And I have not seen Abaddon anywhere, have I? Oh, there it is. There's Abaddon. So that's all connected, but or do we not cross over? Did I solve this, like, hours ago? There's got to be something I'm missing, right? Wow, that goes nowhere. So Crusoe. Oh, I see. Okay. Cornucopia, like Tritium, Waterpoon. Cornucopia, Lake Tritium, or Waterpoon. Ah, oh, it's probably one of the ones that has already already been done. Cornucopia Lake Tritium Waterpoon. Not exactly how I thought about starting this session, I'm not gonna lie. What am I what am I missing here? I'm missing something here. Alright. I might actually need to like edit this one so it's not so painful to watch. We got Abaddon coming in here. It's hooked up up to this, up to this. Palace Athena I haven't seen anywhere. Everything over here is connected. I don't think there's an Abaddon over here. Uh, Blue Quasar. There's Palace Athena up here, but that's not connected to anything else. Hmm. We got Vanguard. It can't just be a dead end. I have all the intel for this, so it can't just be a dead end. I can I can feel you yelling at the screen right now. Alright, let's see. I'm probably going to cut this so I can find this thing and not waste any more time. Alright, back from a quick edit, and uh, I see the missing link. It's this guy. Walter Poon, not Water Poon. <laughs> I kept reading that as Water Poon. Alright, here we go. There it is. Boom. Done. Oh, God, that took way too long. But there you have it. So, Training Unlock, Shock Tactics 4, and a Trade Contact for a 45, and a new Agent Candidate. Caskmate. Sounds awfully terrifying. Space Warfare Documents. Let's get this done as well. Comrade, our sources in Redacted provided new details about this Star Wars weapon. First Secretary's worst fears appear to be justified. The Americans will gain first strike capability with these new weapons. The committee convened yesterday and decided to repurpose research conducted by Mudhead to build an orbital weapons platform code named Polyus. Polyus? Initial calculations suggest we should be able to mount the 1A laser cannon to effectively counter the devices developed under SDI. All right, let's see. The Americans... Do, 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 do. The committee is the organization? No. Um, Mudhead, there we go. So yeah, Star Wars. That's an actual real-world reference, so that's pretty cool. I always love when the real-world references come through. I especially love when the real-world references come through and I miss them, and you guys point them out in the comments, because obviously I don't know everything from the time period and from the era and all the strange things that were going on, so I've actually got a lot of insight from some of the comments that come up uh, on these videos, so I do appreciate that. And in fact, as I'm pulling out all this intel, I just want to mention, as always, if you guys have been enjoying this uh, series, make sure you let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment. It really helps the channel out because of how YouTube works, and it helps me out because it lets me know that you guys are still interested in uh, seeing this continue at pace these last couple weeks, unfortunately, due to other circumstances, I had to slow it down and only did two episodes as opposed to three. But I'm hoping to pick that pace right back up soon. Mm, let's see. What else have we got? 
What else have we got? Well, Mudhead is connected right away, so we see that. I guess we start from up top and go clockwise. All right. Uh, Rogue Cleric. Lots of redacted. If anyone from Bad Company is swayed by redacted sensational guesswork, they might add two and two and mess up our gig in redacted. We arrange for this troublemaker and redacted to be invited to a conference in some or the other. All right. Bad Company. Rogue Cleric. Uh, I just noticed Chuck Wagon here, so I should probably connect that over. And Kingfish as well. Connect this over here. All right, let's move on to this. Uh, Redacted and I departed on the Coast Guard cutter to investigate intelligence about increased smuggler activity in the area. See report from 121782 from Stasi. Infinity had their own people on another boat. Luckily, we managed to avoid any unpleasantries. We inspected several vessels and finally found the contraband, a large amount of computer chips and circuitry on a bulk cruiser registered in Redacted. The cargo manifest was a sloppy forgery, although I was surprised to find Redacted on the list. If you remember, they were recently involved in the scandal with Redacted and Dilettant. To our surprise, we were greeted by yesteryear representatives who demanded the cargo. Are we yesteryear? I don't think we're yesteryear. No, 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 we didn't demand cargo from anybody, we just took it. Uh, Stasi is here. Dilettante, I don't think we saw. Anywhere listed, bad company. Oh, I read that one. Okay, yeah, cool. So I think we're fine still. Dilettante is over here. Move you over. Connect to the Stasi. Let's move this over here. Keep an eye out for infinity. There it is. Okay, so this is like a little closed loop over here. And I haven't seen yesteryear anywhere else yet, I don't think. Oh, there it is. Yesteryear over here and string quartet. No, I was just mixing that up with choir singers, I think. I think I was. Yes, we're good. Okay, so let's check this one out now. Uh, convoy intel from Sec Securitate Reliable. Seven refrigerator trucks registered to lots of redacted info here. Analysis determined it was part of a bad company weapons cache from redacted safe house busted three months ago. Considering redacted relations with redacted via redacted, it would imply redacted was involved. Possibly with help from Redacted. If our intel from Redacted is to be believed, lots of more Redacted. This is what you. This is what a classified document means. Holy crap! Basically, no information there. Um, bad companies over here. I don't think we've seen Securitate anywhere. I would remember that word. I feel like. Yeah. So moving on to here. Uh, cut the crap, Pearl Diver. I only have a little time before the Zealots, inaudible, start calling the Spanish Armada, asking my whereabouts. A, then you'll be happy to hear that Killer Whale succeeded with the first tests. What's going on? What are they testing? What are they testing? Mm. Okay, I almost missed this one because it piled underneath something. I hate when that happens. Alright, we've got this up here. Pearl Diver was the other one, not in this one. Oh no, it's in this one. There we go. Yeah, almost missed that one. That would have been shameful. Now let's check this out. There are lots of redacted Crimson Doors and Power Brokers. Oh, sorry. Consult with Crimson Doors and Power Brokers. Maybe they can spare some resources to cover this up for good. I'll talk to you again when I get back from Redacted. Okay. Power Brokers is up here. Red Lieutenant we haven't seen yet. Lamster, Mudhead, we haven't seen yet. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, I was buying a ton of them when we were in Dynamo Room. Plus, I know these. These aren't owned by any Redacted subsidiary or Angry Line front company. You're a weird dude, Redacted. Okay, Angry Line, Dynamo Room over here. Crimson Doors surely connects to somewhere. There it is. Alright, I feel like we've got this one. Boom. Done. Has been analyzed, enemy revealed, and two new agent candidates, so I guess I'd already cap- I should have saved this, uh, this intel, I suppose. However, we did get some good stuff out of it, and one thing I'll be doing next is, as soon as the marquee device is completed in 9 hours, I'm going to be getting information noise filtering that'll reduce the false positives on the world map, and it'll help me from well, sending my agents out where they aren't actually needed. Anyway, with all that investigative work done, let's dive on into Odessa here. We've done our tactical recon. Sunspot is there, and Sunspot is... Uh, where are we, Sunspot? Hit by the control phrase. We'll only use that if we have to. We'll only use it if we have to, but let's go in for the assault. It is a full mission over here. We've got Theremin available in disguise, of course. Looking dapper as hell. Antler. No. No, Antler, no. Uh, maybe we get Duck Nose in here instead. It's about Russian speakers. Who here speaks Russian? Does anybody else here speak Russian? Not Apollo, not Duck Nose, I'm pretty sure. I wish you could teach them languages. That would be pretty interesting. 
though probably not entirely helpful. Uh, but you know what, Duck Nose, let's get you up in here. Rather you than Antler. We've got a smoke, a frag, LMG 26, and a 45. Pretty happy with that. We do have some training available, and I should check what this... Right, I wanted to get somebody this Warzone Operations, probably Theremin, because this is huge. But we have a lot going on on the world map right now, so I'll wait because it does take over a day. Uh, and then what was, was Shock Tactics? Holy crap. Hmm, interesting. Getting a lot more of these things available now, which is nice to see. Alright, well, let's assign Duck Nose here. Can't speak the language, but that's okay. And let's get Antler over here. Might as well, we've got the slot available. Get that Silent Sniper here. Ref spotting. Falcon, no, no, no. Falcon, no. Falcon, you're actually a field agent. So you're going to go out on the field. Thank you. And over here, number 15 is unfortunately not available right now. So Mercury is going to be spotting. Referee is going to be spotting. And Falcon, we need to give you your lockpick. Who's got the lockpick? Who's got the lockpick? Wait, no, actually, who's got the... Did Indigo have it or Bush? I think Bush Baby had it last. There it is. Now let's swap this out for a smoke and falcon my expert lock picker there you go so we're suppressed on the 76 and we've got lock picks i wonder if i shouldn't suppress the 76 as well might not be a bad idea i feel like um somebody else had a suppressed 76 and they didn't need it perhaps uh, is zenith zenith isn't on this mission is she Can we... There we go. So, suppressed on both weapons over here. Heavy vest, suppressed on both weapons. Heavy vest, smoke, and first aid kit. We've got another first aid kit here. we got a frag. we got a first aid. we got a suppressed weapon. Kodiak, I almost feel like swapping out, to be perfectly honest. But no one we can swap him out with, I suppose. Uh, so he's fine like this. Theremin, of course, only the weapons. And we're suppressed here as well. So everyone is good to go. Suppressed, ready to roll out. Heavy vest as well. We got a new heavy vest, but it's just another heavy vest. So we're not actually going to swap anything out here. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's uh, let's roll out. Most of us can speak Russian. Theremin can speak Russian. So that'll be extremely helpful. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get going. Hopefully this is a mission that only Theremin needs to get, you know, involved in. <laughs> I always get so nervous. All right, we're attacking a major conspiracy hub. We need to kill everybody. Wipe them out. All of them. All right, let's go. Sunspot is turnable, which is good to know. Uh, we've got a camera terminal here, a camera terminal here, a camera terminal here. We can deploy up there, maybe come in through this window and this window, or we can deploy over here, come in through this door, go in through we'd have to go around the long way so maybe we deploy up here just because the windows are closer we can go in and well ha huh, we'll have to shut this one down first and hopefully that turns off this security camera we've got the loot over here as well and hopefully this is close enough that somebody can maybe with exertion go in and do it all in one turn so i think this is the spot to deploy in and we'll of course have enemy agents across the board it's one of those missions they typically end up loud and uh and painful intel up here there was loot downstairs that we saw already uh, it's another floor no but there is a there's a little uh, skylight which is the bane of my existence is there any loot or intel over here doesn't look to be the case not back here either okay that can't be all the loot or intel there is it's got to be more hmm really that little I don't buy it. I'm missing something. Just the intel here and the loot downstairs? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, maybe. It's possible. We'll, we'll find out more as we move along. Let's figure out where we put our support staff. Uh, I feel like on the west side, we might be wise to put down at least a spotter here on the west side. We've got windows here. We can see in here. We can see back over here. We can see on the second floor as well. There's windows, windows. This is open, but uh, it, definitely a west side spotter. And I wonder if we also do a south side spotter. Because then we can see into this room. And we can see into this area. We can see into... Nah, this door will have to be open. But we'll be able to see in here. Oh, more intel over there. Unless this wall bo blocks our view. Which it might because we can deploy over here. So maybe south side is not 
Uh, we'll have vision up top. The other option is over here. We'll have vision into the same spaces. So we could do east side instead. Sure, let's go with east side spotter. And I say west side smoke as well. And maybe a north side sniper. At clear viewing angles. Almost wondering if I should do a north side spotter as well. Rather than the east side. Yeah, you know what? North side spot, north side snipe. Let's try that. And let's see if we can keep it quiet. Let's see how long we can keep it quiet for. Get your bets in. Let's begin. Oh boy, alright. We got this. Sunspot is the agent on this mission from the enemy, so uh, if she's the only one here, that's fantastic. Um, at least we know we can control Fraser if we need to. We have to eliminate everybody, so... The enemy's dug in deep. I guess I might as well. For a tough fight. There's eight of them. Theremin's up here. Okay. Okay, so Theremin, you're not near any of the... Uh, camera terminals, but that's fine. Is that you? Indigo is right over here. She can get up to here. We want to leave the officers for last, if possible. Let's move Indigo up to here. Bush baby will move you with Indigo. My and then, do we go around this way as well? I think so. Duck nose, let's get you over to here. Oh, there's somebody right in here. We're looking out that way. We're gonna move in there, right underneath this camera. I mean, Falcon could pick this lock, but I don't know if that's necessary. I could use the window instead later, once the cameras are turned off. So, Duck Nose, let's get you over to here. Yeah. And uh, we'll move you with Kodiak. Sounds like a good idea to me. Then Falcon. I don't want to just waste the lockpick this early on. There must be a better place to use that lockpick. You know what I mean? It feels a little premature. Like... Maybe it's better to come in from the back over here. There's cameras everywhere. What am I saying? Let's move Falcon up to here. Not going to pick that lock yet, just in case. But this way we get vision at least. Mm, I want a better view of that camera. Loot over here as well. Good to know. Loot here and cameras here. We're probably going to take this guy out sooner Don't than I initially like anticipated. That. All right, Theremin, we're going to take it slow. Unfortunately, very slow. Let's move up to here. Pop this door open. No enemy agent over here. I'm wondering if we uh, try and move towards this door next. Or move towards this door, I suppose. Pop this door open. See if there's an enemy agent in here. That was a civilian, it looked like. This is also a civilian. Okay. Let's uh, move into here. I would like to get the intel as soon as possible. Just to get it done with. See how it works out. And I could actually get the spotters to just get some eyes out for me. Uh, no point spotting here. We saw everything we could see here. But um, I guess I could spot down here maybe. Nothing to see. I could look over here. I could check in here. Sure, let's check in here just to see what's going on. Might as well use the uh, spotters when I can. And then we've got another spotter available coming in from this side. Could take a look over here, see what's going on. Maybe over here. Again, I want to see this enemy agent if I can. Well, there you have it. And he's coming in. Things are going to get loud right away. Alright, there I'm in. He's probably going to come in and look right at Theremin. So. Can't control phrase from here. We're maxed out focus. It's going to get loud right away. I mean, I guess I could... No, I can't snipe you. Um, gonna get loud right away then we might as well get you know what in some ways in some ways that works out for me let's get overwatch over here should use my spotters first okay guns out it's gonna go terribly 
nobody can see this cop, which is not good. I'm gonna overwatch just down to here. Well, no, he's gonna, if he moves, he's probably gonna move to that corner. I'm gonna overwatch over to here. Everyone is exposed. I should have checked this first. Don't Should've checked this first. Like Alright, Indigo, let's get you on Overwatch with the TKB. Again, if I'm lucky, this is this is not gonna have to happen. But, I think we all know I'm not that lucky. Duck knows, I wish I'd sent somebody around so I could actually provide support over here, but unfortunately that did not happen. Let's get the Overwatch going down... ...in a radius, in case that guy comes out and moves this way, I guess? Sure. The radius, and then... Falcon, let's get you on Overwatch. Facing which way? At least we won't have to take care of the cameras this way. Gotta Do this radius. Someday. And Kodiak, let's get that Sparrow out. No, we cannot get the Sparrow out. Let's get the Cobra out on Overwatch. Let's get you looking this way as well. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I hope you had your bets in before this because uh, it's about to get very loud. Oh, oh, yeah, don't mind the gun, we're good, oh, we are good, we are good, okay, so this is not ideal, this person's going to leave, though, I'm wondering if I just, like, leave, step out for now, I don't want to trigger the alarm right now, okay, let's deal with this other stuff first, you're still there, we could take this cop down and take him out right now. We might as well, I think. Let's move on over to here, take him down, and then Indigo can wipe him out. Or can uh, dispose of the body. Yeah, I think so. So, Bush Baby, do you have exertion? You do. Well, we're not going to use it now. But we're going to position to use it later. I was going for the takedown. Confirm that. Yep. Down you go, nice and easy. Indigo, let's dispose of this body before I forget. Please and thank you. Uh, I guess Sunspot is not the only agent, because that was definitely not Sunspot. Or was that Sunspot? I couldn't tell. I could not tell. If it was, then uh, it's easy for Theremin to get the job done. Uh, I wonder if we actually move Indigo up to like the window over here. Indigo and Bush Baby can go, can both go in and both deal with a separate element. Uh, are you Sunspot? You are. You are Sunspot. Oh, this is beautiful. This couldn't have gone better. There you have it. We've got two agents in disguise. You know what, Indigo, Bush Baby don't need to do anything suspicious. Alright, so we're gonna get Theremin leaving. Mm, we can both work together maybe to take care of Are we done standing around? this guy over here. Alright, here's how I'm gonna play this. So, I'm gonna get Theremin up to here first. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna get Theremin... Let's get Theremin up to here. Sunspot, how far I can get? You can get all the way over to here. Okay, good. So, Theremin, I'm going to get you over to here. There we go. Let's just check to make sure that nothing's going to go sideways first. Sorry, Theremin, I'm not done with you, buddy. And I'm good to take this guy down. Where are you looking? You're looking that way, you're going that way. Alright, good. So, I can take this guy down. No, we're not going to shoot him. We're going to take him down. Not enough fire points. Right. That's fine. That's fine. Because Sunspot can go in and take him down instead. And hopefully no one's going to be looking this way anytime soon. Let's get a little spotting action going on over here. Just to see if we see anybody before we commit to this. Looks like we're good. And our friend over here is going away. So we should be we should be good. Unless somebody down here pushes up. Duck nose. I guess I can round the bend with you. Right? So Buddy's over here and he's going to move... Just up to there, so that's not the end of the world. Cool. So, Sunspot. We're going for the takedown. See, Sunspot should be able to take a picture of this without trouble. Anyway. Let's 
go in for the takedown, confirm that, and then we'll bring her back to deal with the intel. No exclamation marks or anything, so this shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Beautifully done. Uh, what's the deal here? He's going to leave, so I guess I could get uh, Ducknose and Kodiak moving up a little bit. Like, he's going to go up to there, which is just out of viewing range for the camera. So I could get Ducknose over to here and then hopping through the window to take him out if he turns around or something. So we might as well do that. Ducknose, let's move you up there. Let's get this over with. And Kodiak, we're going to move you up to here. And we should be good. We should be good. All right, bush baby. Um, tempting as it is to go up to there. Maybe I should have actually, now that I think about it. We're just gonna move you up to there. Better safe than sorry. And then Falcon. Falcon, Falcon, Falcon. What do we do with you? We can't go this way yet. I say we post up here, maybe. I could pick up the, uh, the loop. Let's post up to here. Keep our eyes peeled. Hopefully the camera will shut off soon enough. Right. Right, and where is evac? Evac is up here, or back here, or over here. We're going to probably evac back over here. But we'll call that when the time comes. I think we'll get to end the turn here. I was so ready for everything to blow up in my face. My skills are at your but we're okay. And Theremin, just to make sure, disposing a body is a fire point, right? Yes. There's another terminal here. I forgot about that. I need to send somebody over that way. Someone can hop out the window. Alright, let's hope we don't get spotted. <laughs> Watch the dumbest thing is going to trigger the alarm now. Like the silliest mistake or, or misread. Okay, no, we're good. Ah, damn it. I have this one spot where I can take him down from. I guess I could go in, take down, and dispose of the body. It's a risk, but is it a risk worth taking? That's the question. Um, okay, first things first. Theremin, you're going to dispose of this body. Before we forget. And then Sunspot is going to make her way back to the intel are that we, we left behind. We are done standing around. We're going to move all the way to... I mean here, sure. Okay. Unfortunately, this person's probably going to come back around next turn. Yeah. So frustrating. That's fine, though, because Theremin, we could send you over this way to take care of that set of cameras. I feel like that's the way to go, and if we have exertion available, it will get us the extra step okay. or two that we need, or in this case, three, or I guess six. We'll get very close to the cameras, and the next turn we can actually finish it off. So we'll get right up to over here, I suppose, get a peek through the windows, and we'll come in and, and, and shut it down. Down we go. Got to take care of that guy as well. Theremin can do that. Okay, and then over here, I think if we pop exertion on indigo at least, we should be able to go in there. Now, what's going on over here is the question. Can we see? We cannot. Cannot see. Buddy over here doesn't look like he's going anywhere this turn. So we should be okay if we pop exertion on indigo. Confirm that. We should be able to get the camera for sure and then get her out. Not mistaken. Yeah. All right. So let's get the camera. Yes. Through the window. There we go. So this one's going to turn off. Beautiful. And now I can either take a risk and deal with this nonsense. Oh no, he is going to come down this way. So, thankfully, we haven't committed to anything. We can pull right back out. Yeah, we're going to pull right back out. Again, we haven't blown our cover yet. There's no need to do it. There's no rush. Because now, Let's Falcon, you're way. actually able to go in, take this, and leave. And do you have exertion available? Yes, you do. So she will also be able to deal with the cameras. Maybe we should deal with the cameras first. I think that's a good idea. Let's pop exertion here. Confirm that. Work. Come on, Falcon. A little bit more positivity, please. This will definitely work. Alright, so in we go for the cameras. Come on. Tappa, tappa, tappa. Turn everything off. This one. Okay, beautifully done. And we're going to take her out. 
I wish I could do both, but he's definitely going to come this way. I'm worried he'll be able to see. So let's pull right back out to over here. We can get that later. We'll get that next time. Oh, we got both Wait windows. Good stuff. All right, sunspots up here. Kodiak. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I could do this. And we'd be fine. Hypothetically. No one's going to see. We can leave and then Duck Nose can come in and dispose of the body. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Yeah, let's go. This guy's got a sniper rifle. Alright, Kodiak, let's get you out of there. Jeez, I thought it was somebody and else. Duck Nose, you should be able to dispose of this body without triggering an alarm. You better not trigger the alarm from this, uh... Oh no, we turned it off anyway. Oh, huh. We should definitely be fine. There we go. Beautifully done. And we can just leave. Don't see any reason to go in there. Let's uh, move Duck Nose over to here. Get a peek through the window. All right. Three out of seven. Three out of seven. Bush baby, what shall we do with you? I could come up to here. That is not a good idea because this buddy's going to come down there. Hopefully he'll turn around soon. We got one guy over there. We've got these cameras still active. We've got a civilian over here. There's four more of them. There's four more of them. Nonetheless, Bush Baby, I think you're waiting. Okay, he's in our blind spot, unfortunately. So get there, man. Can can take care of the cameras, and then he can pop back out and hopefully get vision. So let's move you over to here. Oh, civilian, civilian. But two people over here. One over here and one over here. Okay, that's good. Good to know. Let's deal with these cameras. Get it done. Where's our friend over here going? Even closer. Even closer. Okay, well, over here we can head out to back there, I suppose. Deal with this guy. He's coming up to here. So sure, let's uh, head over to here. And the next turn we can knock him out and turn after that we'll have to dispose of his body but we should be fine and then sunspot over here in disguise can't do anything here she's gonna turn around and leave next turn so that's fine i guess i could take sunspot oh damn it we lost sight there he is i guess i could take sunspot down but she won't be able to get back up as easily i think i have the patience here Yeah, I've got the patience. All right, Kodiak and Indigo, or Kodiak and Ducknose, I should say. Where? Where's our next target? I see, I've seen two of them, so there's two I still need to deal with. Okay, there's one. He's gonna come up to here, so Ducknose can go and finish him off, and then Kodiak will be able to go in and dispose of the body, and this person will hopefully not be looking this way. Cool, that works for me. That? So that's number six, and there's one more I haven't seen yet. Indigo is so much faster. If I can give her exertion, she doesn't even need to worry. Let's get this over. Falcon, let's get you looking at the loot here. And then leaving. There we go. Beautifully done. And let's head over to sure, here. Okay. So Sunspot, we're going to get you up to here, not doing anything else, unfortunately. Indigo, you're waiting. Bush Baby is waiting. Duck Nose is also waiting. Alright, cool. So we're on a holding pattern now, it seems like. Get that end turn. But it's going to move up into an ambush. You're looking away. Excellent. Okay, so first things first, Sunspot. Pick up this intel, please. I've been waiting for this for far too long. There we go. A little snap. Thank you very much. Oh, that's two of them. And now, wish I remembered where our friend was ending up so I could spot him. But you know what, Theremin? Ah, oh, he doesn't have vision that way. You're staying put there. He's going back this way. There doesn't seem to be anyone over here, which is good. So I could take this guy down right now. Guess I should. So unfortunate. I wish I could see what was going on over here. I guess I'll just have to jump down blindly. I remember he was going closer, but I don't remember if he was going right up to the edge or not. 
nowhere is highlighting, so my assumption is he is probably somewhere out over here. Which is too bad. Which is too bad. Where else could Sunspot go? I guess you could go out over here to engage this nonsense, but you know what? No. We'll send her down anyway. Um, might as well send her down over to here. It's not like it's an H and we're going to hop out. Hey, yeah. Okay, I was right. But hey, at least now we know where he is. Don't sneak up on Theremin, me like that. you're going to deal with this. Take down, confirm. Yeah, this person's not moving anywhere. Who else is here? You. Oh, where are you going? You're also not going anywhere. Fool's on their smoke breaks. So yeah, confirm the takedown, please, and thank you. Down you go. Ah, veteran. I guess that's another level up. It's a little unfortunate that we're wasting all this movement. There's really not much I can do, I guess. Really not much I can do. Okay, fair enough. So now we're able to actually go in here, but he's looking the wrong way. I guess Don't Indigo, we like could that. pop. Oh, oh no, okay, right, right can't get you all the way but I feel like I mean I, I again I can just wait and then Sunspot will take Whoa. care of him so maybe yeah. we do that over here meanwhile Ducknose is able to go in for the takedown long way but uh can do it or I wait for him to go further and you are looking that way going to look up how much confidence do I have that it's clear back there is the question not much I cannot see too far back Confirm this. Come on. Looks clear. I should be able to come up to here and smack him. Maybe we go up to here first. I mean, you do one, you do the other. It's the same thing, I guess. I hate staying in there, but you know what? It's life without some risks. Nobody back here. This person is going that way, hopefully not going to spot us. It's a decent viewing distance. Go for the takedown. Down you go. Kodiak, you need to go in and finish the job off, buddy. Confirm that. And again, hopefully our civilian here doesn't decide to look this way. Kodiak is a step closer, and that might be what breaks us. That might be what does it here. One, two, three, four, five, six tiles. Seven tiles, even? Six tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six tiles. Oh, we should be fine. We might be fine. Okay, Theremin. Cannot dispose of the body. Sunspot's done. Indigo, Bush Baby, waiting. Yeah. Falcon, waiting patiently. Two more people. This is one, and who's the other? I guess the other must be upstairs or something. Someone needs to go in for this intel. We've got Sunspot available for it. This door is locked, is it not? This door's locked. Okay, cool. So Sunspot's going to take this guy out and then move towards this intel, I suppose. Theremin's got to take care of the body he's next to. I feel like we're in a good spot. That's the turn. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I was really nervous about that. Good thing she's a fool looking at some paintings. Uh, Kodiak, let's get you out of here. Indigo, you can go in there now, but first things first, away? Sunspot, let's deal with this, shall we? I'd like to be at this door. And let's take our friend down. If you really think so. Bam! Down he goes. Nice and easy. Super smooth. Yeah. A nice scotch. Okay, dispose of this body. Will do. There we go. Must be cold. I don't think Thurman smokes. That wasn't cigarette smoke coming out of his mouth. All right, and we don't want to go up over here. There's no intel or loot over here, so we're fine. Uh, over here, Indigo could go in over here. Uh, Bush Baby, you could go in as well. Sure, let's send Bush Baby. She didn't get to do anything. She didn't get to break a window. Now she does. But she's happy. It's important to keep all your agents happy, and that's almost everything. One more piece of intel over here, and another piece of intel where... Where art thou? Um, could have sworn there was one on the second floor, but we got that one. Unless there's another one on the second floor, or if there's one over here, I don't see one over here. Who is looking this way? Is that because of a civilian, I guess. Oh yeah, the civilian. Okay, that's if I move with Bush Baby, right? 
who does not have a disguise. Ah, uh, but I think we're fine over there. No intel or anything. Over here, we just looted this. We did the camera. We did the uh, briefcase over here, and we did the cameras over here as well. No additional loot that I'm seeing here. There is this intel. Oh, you know what? This could be two, I suppose, pieces of intel. Whoa. Fair enough. So, Theremin, in, in that case, you're able to make your way back. Might as well pop exertion. Confirm that. Where is our last enemy? Possibly in here, I suppose. That room's been closed. Man, that movement distance on Theremin when he pops exertion is absolutely insane. And to be fair, we haven't actually checked this corner, so could be something. Or in fact, you know what? I could get my tactical spotter. Maybe... No, not from the west side. Maybe from the north side. Uh, sure, let's, let's just check this roof. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah, I know we're good. Good, I know there's a civilian up there. I know there's a civilian up there. Alright, I guess we're waiting now. Uh, well, duck nose, let's get you out of here. No need to stay inside. We're all the way to here. Let's go. Okay. Falcon's over here. She's fine. Indigo's inside. No, she's outside. She's fine. Bush Baby's the only one inside and trespassing. Okay. Uh, we wait. Sunspot's going to dispose of the body. And then we're going to take a look at the situation in here. Uh, yeah, I don't know where this last uh, enemy is. Oh, there we go. Okay. That worked out. Theremin's going to take care of him. Sunspot. Let's get rid of this body, please. Thank you very much. And we're going to move right up to over here. Nothing suspicious about me. Don't mind me. I do hope that's the last piece of intel, though. I can tell you that. Come on. Please be two. Please be two. Come on. Nice. Love it. All right, Theremin. You're on our last guy. Get you rounding the bend over here. He's somewhere here. So let's just go... Let's see if we can't spot him from over here first. Minimize our waste. Guess we can go up to over here next. There he is. He's going even further along. Nobody is looking over here. I know there's somebody taking a smoke break over here. Confirm this. Yep. Down you go, buddy. Primary objective complete. Good job, team. Head back home. Yep, let's get our evac coming up over here. Everyone, most coming. people are closer to here. And uh, let's see, so yeah. Falcon, let's get you right back over to here. Kodiak, let's get you over to here. Indigo, as far as you can get. Bush baby, let's make sure you're coming out the window, please. <laughs> and Duck Nose over to here. Alright. Yeah. That's everybody. Theremin's got to finish the job, and then Sunspot's going to leave out the front. Theremin, dispose of this body, please, and thank you. All right. Wow, that uh, that went uh, <laughs> that went very differently from what I suspected. I totally thought that Sunspot at the opening there was going to see us, and that that would be um, well, that that would be it. That 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 this mission would go loud right away, and they'd get reinforcements for sure. And uh, I didn't think anybody would die, per se, but uh, I definitely felt as though it was going to go loud immediately. And then on the flip side, it's been completely quiet. It's been completely quiet. All right, Sunspot, let's get you heading out the window. Cody X here, Indigo, let's go. All right. And it does help having two disguised agents. I can't wait till I can actually have two disguised Jeez, agents. That'll make a uh, very nice and very big difference. Oh, there, I mean, just short. It's okay. Bush, baby, let's get you in here. I believe Evac is arriving next turn. Yeah. But just in time, there, I mean, just in time. Like the boss you are, like the smooth operator you are. Just in time. This is everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, six, seven. Yes. Nobody is any wiser. In comes our evac. Alright, that was pretty pretty good. That was pretty good. Consider all things considered. 
considering the enemy agent literally walked into the same room and had a gun pointed at him and a civilian turn around and saw the gun being pointed at the enemy agent. It's pretty good. Yeah. So, let's leave. I believe we have everything. We do. Let's leave. Ooh. Alright, I don't need to see this. I've seen this a hundred times. There we go. Seven out of seven, six out of six, and all agents out. That feels good. My god, that was stressful. That was stressful. Alright, so we've already read this, so we know we're in Chapter 4, Operation North Star. What have we got here? A Semi-12, an octagonal barrel, we got a PPK. Ooh, hey, a PPK! A uh, Wembley, a medium armor, a PM-63, and an EIW. Interesting. We got two new secret files, Complex Minutes and CIA Special Concepts Division. We got a rifle suppressor, manufacturing blueprint. This is different. And the G3 trade contact and the TST chemical compound and a heavy vest trade contact. That was a solid lot of intel there. I'm glad I kept, like, got all of it. We should take a look at these secret files. Uh, new perks for Sunspot over here. Uh, new training as well for a couple of these guys. We got Sunspot on our side now as well. Let's take a look at Sunspot, actually. Two spots for Sunspot. Let's see. Vietnam veteran. Well, they'll be the same until I pick one. Mm. This increases the width of the cone. And this increases how long it stays circular. So they do kind of... not. I don't say they cancel each other out, I guess. Uh, let's go with the width of the cone. Yeah. And what else do we want here? I mean, sure, why not both? Now, what are these secret perks? Not about to put her through any rigorous... Uh, torture or anything to find out, as long as it doesn't turn out she's also under a control phrase influence of the enemy. That would suck. <laughs> I'd buy that as a possibility. That would suck. Hmm. Well, first things first, let's get Theremin. Yeah, we want to get Needles back. I was like, do I just want to interrupt the op? No, but I want to get Needles back. So let's get Theremin and Indigo. Glorious team as they are, heading over to perform recon over there. Once the recon there is complete, we will send a full team out. We've got these two, Zenith and Ranchero, about to leave San Francisco, because this doesn't actually affect us in any way, but I want the XP. And uh, I don't really care to have quartz, I just want needles back. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Nine hours still for that. We're good here, we're good here. I'm feeling pretty comfortable about moving things forward. I don't know about trainings, though. I don't know about training. Because mm. I know Theremin is the one that I want to give... Uh, as soon as he levels up again, I guess. I want to give him this. Interconnected is huge for him. Because if he can sneak in and turn one thing off and turn everything off as a result of that, that'll be great. I might even swap one of these out for it, actually. He doesn't need the VZs. Oh no, blinding laser is not bad. Neither is pain stimulus if he gets picked off at the beginning. <sighs> so much to think about here. So much to think about in terms of who to train and how. But I wonder if now is the time to do it. We have got how many hours in the air? We've got like, what is this? Like three hours in the air and then another 10 hours. So that's 13 hours. And yeah, this is a full mission. Now, nah, maybe we should wait until this is done at least. Maybe we should wait until that's done at least. So let's move time forward over here. See if there's more stuff to investigate. We're gonna arrive, it's gonna take nine hours. There we go, tactical recon here done, so pause. Let's leave San Fran, both of you. Okay, so we're fine there. Suspicious activity here, let's go check it out. Again, all these false positives will hopefully be taken care of once we have, well, not taken care of completely, but once we have our, um, where is it? Signal filtering, there we go, information noise filtering. Reduce the amount of false positives on the world map. Please develop that. And actually over here, should we not get the rifle suppressor? Okay, so the rifle suppressor is negative 4 damage and does noise suppression, as opposed to the rimfire suppressor that does negative 6 damage. The rifle suppressor should swap out the uh, rimfire suppressor. So do we get one going? I figure if there's any time to do it, it's now. Antler. You're in a hospital. I don't really care about you, though, so let's, uh, yeah, get to work. Okay. 
We've got this happening. We've got the information noise filtering happening. We've got a decent bit of money coming through. Um, okay, good stuff overall. This is all just still because of these guys, right? Yeah, and Sunspot being new agent. Okay, okay, it's all good. It's all good. The marquee device is done. Ooh, personal history. We suspect there's a double agent among our agents. Some of our intel has been compromised, most probably because the Holder Initiative Ops knows we have them. Falcon is the suspect. No. No, god damn it. Okay, we could run surveillance, see how the situation develops. Or have an outside party track the agent's every move. I feel like if we have an outside party, like, can you trust an outside party? Right? Because what if they're spies? What if they're paid off by the Beholder Initiative as well? And then you've got false information. Hmm. Hmm. And it's money. And it's money. I think what I'll do is I'll probably run surveillance, see how the situation develops. I feel like that's the way to go. I almost picture it like, um, oh, what was that movie? Oh, uh, Allied, the whole blue dye test. See, I thought that was so, I, I'm all about this spy stuff. That's how I picture this. If you haven't seen that movie, you should check it out. Um, but yeah, let's see. Run surveillance, see how the situation develops. Come on. Danger increased by 50. That's fine. As long as she comes out clean. As long as everything's fine, I don't mind a little bit of a danger increase. Don't want to lose Falcon. I've grown attached. New chemical compound. Oh, a nice way to remove everything. So that's good if I make a mistake in terms of uh, assignments. And here's the assault available now. Oh, okay. It's a two-person mission. Okay, okay, okay. So that's good to know. If it's a two-person mission, that means we can actually spend some time getting some training going. Theremin's going to go, of course. And um, maybe Indigo, I suppose. They make a good team. They're both away anyway. Um, everyone's away. I guess Bush maybe could get some training. Falcon could get some training, but I don't know if I want to invest any more in her. She doesn't have like an empty perk or anything available. I hope she's not like a double agent. God damn it. We could get Kodiak back and uh, give him a little bit of buffing. He could use it. God knows he could use it. Uh, give him some more training as well. He's got the... He's got the... Uh, slot available for it. Some stuff to do, some housekeeping we can do while we wait for again, the next mission is a two-person mission. Um, we're waiting for the marquee device to pick up some new leads, so now is probably the time to do training. We have a fair bit of money and money coming in and danger isn't ticking up. So now is probably the time to do training. However, when I say now, I actually mean next time because uh, we're at about roughly an hour and I want to think about how I want to train my agents before I just make some commitments. So probably do that between sessions and then let you guys know what I was thinking and how I assigned them. But of course, as always, if you've got some ideas of your own, if you'd like to give me some suggestions and drop them in the comments down below, I do read all the comments. I haven't been able to respond to every comment as much as I typically like to lately, unfortunately, uh, but I do read them all the time. My commutes, uh, you know, on lunch breaks, things like that. Uh, I just like to reply with you know, a, a proper reply rather than just saying K or K thanks. So uh, do keep leaving those suggestions down below. I read them and pay attention to them very closely. A massive thanks as always to you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate your uh, company. And a massive thanks, of course, to my patrons and channel members who support this channel on a month-to-month -month basis, keeping it alive and running smoothly. Until next time, as always, thank you very much for watching. Das Vidanya.